it is a beautiful day. I'm at Banning Mills and I'm going to be heading down there under the canopy of trees for a beautiful hike along Snake Creek and I'm going to cross a few suspension bridges along the way. Let's go! Now, there used to be um, all kinds of, of mills out here. Um, that's why it's called Banning Mills. Uh, there were paper mills, textile mills. It was a prosperous and uh, very much alive in the mid 1800s. this wall. As I begin my hike into what is reportedly Georgia's only hidden gorge, I'm struck with a sense of awe. You see, there are some places that have such a long and rich history that it allows my imagination to run wild. And there's so much history here. This part of the world was once home to the Creek and Cherokee nations. The industrious town of Banning that once existed here was the first in Georgia to produce its own electricity. Across this bridge now that I've come to it. It's just beautiful. That's a big bridge up there. This fall color is just starting to come through. The first blush of autumn or the last gasp of summer. This paper mill once stood four stories high. It was the first mill to use pine pulp to make paper. These walls are all that remain of it. This is just one of several suspension bridges that I'll cross during my hike today. This one being the tiniest and least intimidating.
What is a big leaf magnolia? Making my way over a variety of terrain to get to a better view of the cotton mill, which first opened in 1848. Over the years, it operated as a cotton mill, a yarn mill, and a rope and cord mill. Look at this. The ruins of the cotton mill. This is an incredible view of the Snake Creek, the bridge, the old mill. I'm gonna see if I can't make my way a little closer. So cool. making my way back up the canyon to explore the Big Shoals Bridge. Whew. Gain a little speed coming downhill there. This bridge is big, but it's not too terribly scary. It feels pretty stable. To the quiet and peaceful Two Springs Lake. Let's walk out on that dock. I'm on top of Laurel Ridge, thus all the laurel around me. So I'm here at the High Bridge and it is recommended that there's no running, jumping, or swinging on suspension bridge. Somehow, I don't think that's going to be a problem, and I'm not sure how well I'm going to do on this. Heights are real. Take a look at this. That's a long bridge. Here I go. I'm still on a pretty solid platform here. Got to show you the, the slats of this suspension bridge. There's a lot of space between those boards. Okay, really, for real this time, stepping off. Trying not to oh, look down too much because uh, that stuff's scary. I'm not out, I'm not out super high. Whoa. The further out you get, the shakier, oh, the bouncier it becomes. Oh no. 
Whew. Oh goodness. Okay, 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 whoa. Switch views again so you can kind of get a sense of the motion that's happening as I walk and it's like uh, seasickness, like being on a boat. It's, whew, it's real. Don't look down. <laughs> uh -huh. Like I said, there is this sensation of swaying motion as your body weight kind of bounces and the whole structure sways and moves with your weight. And I can hear the, uh, the creak beneath me. I'm gonna give you a view because I'm not sure how much I want to look down. Now bridges don't typically bother me, but bridges are generally solid structures, um, not swaying, swings, suspended. Okay, I'm gonna, ooh, I'm gonna pause for a moment. Look down there, look at me. I feel like I'm halfway between where I came from and where I'm going to on the other side. Behind, can you see the motion there? Oh. <laughs> It is a little nerve-wracking. Oh, don't look down. You have to just trust that the boards are wide enough under your feet because if I look down, I start feeling really nervous and a little sick. <laughs> I'm almost there. Look how far I've come. Back on ground. Look at that thing. Wow, what an incredible day of hiking and really kind of challenge, challenging myself with some of those bridges. Um, some were a little more difficult than others, but it's been a beautiful autumn day outdoors on amazing trails surrounded by history, and beauty and bridges. Thank you so much for joining me.